Hello, everyone. I'm Tracy, and thank you for being here today. So this is going to be a reaction video to something that Jeff Schneider said in a recent video of his. He's been reporting on plasma fires for a long time. He says for uh, six years. And um, he recently had some comments for me. So I wanted to share that with you all. And I'll play that soon. But um, for those of you who do not know who Jeff Schneider is, I'll link his YouTube channel down below. He, he does just the plasma fires. Um, I do you know, a lot more. But um, you'll hear him say that he's passing the torch to me. So let me see. And there's a couple other examples in here too with a very fiery sermon. Link will be in the description. But unless I see something new and different, like, oh, hey, wow, I've never seen that in the whole six years and seven summers that I've been videotaping plasma fire. If I see something new and different, sure, I might make a video of that. But just showing you the same old burn patterns, you all know the patterns. These videos don't go out to anyone new, and I'm grateful for that. These videos are only viewed by the subscribers to this channel who have seen these patterns over and over and over. It no longer makes sense for me to continue creating these videos, and thus, unless I see something new and different, this is the last Plasma Fire video. Others, like Brush Junkie, can take the torch and run with it. 11 months ago, her video, she's got like 30 some odd thousand subscribers, and it was all based on cosmetics. The brush she's referring to in the title, Brush Junkie, is blush, eyeshadow, brushes for the purpose of applying cosmetics. So yes, he is right. Brush Junkie refers to the brushes that I used to talk about and you know make videos about and collect, which I still use every day. Um, the thing that was he's not correct about is the audience that I have, um, for the most part, found me through the reporting I did on Lahaina, so about a year ago. Uh, some of the beauty people did stay along, but a lot didn't. So I just wanted to clear that up. And 11 months ago, she did a hard break, full stop, no more videos about cosmetics. This matters more. And, and that's exactly what I did. I did a hard stop. I thought I would do more beauty content, but again, this, this matters more. And this is where I feel like I had to put my efforts towards. And she hasn't made a single video about cosmetics ever since. Why is it someone like her that I'm handing this torch off to? All of you who call yourselves truthers can't be bothered. You got other shit that's more important. Other things to make videos about. Each and every one of you could have taken the baton. She's the kind of person we need. She's reaching normies. People who she attracted with the most shallow and superficial of subject matter, cosmetics. Now I'll defend those of you who like makeup and cosmetics. That doesn't make you a shallow person. It's just something that you enjoy. And I enjoy um, cosmetics and makeup till this day. And I always have, and I don't feel bad about it. And I don't consider myself a super superficial person. Um, and so uh, I did want to, for those of you who might take these words literally, it's not the most shallow thing to report on, but um, also having a channel, making videos about this topic is not easy. So I'll give everyone a credit. Not everyone's in a position to start a channel or start putting out videos about plasma fires. It does take time. It takes a lot of motivation and it takes a lot of support. Are now suddenly getting hit with plasma fire videos? That's the kind of people we would have hoped to have gotten through to six years ago. Because here in the truther community, we're just in an echo chamber talking to other truthers. She was not in the truther community. She had built her entire channel on makeup application tools, brushes. That's why her channel name is Brush Junkie. And 11 months ago, she did a hard break.
full stop, not another single video about beauty and makeup and cosmetics. And each and every one of you should have done the same, but you didn't. That's why I have her to hand the baton off to and say, you want more videos about plasma fire to repeat and say and show you the same things I've been showing you for six years, you can go subscribe to her channel. All right, so thank you so much, Jeff, for passing the torch for um, the shout out, acknowledging the videos I've been making. Um, yeah, definitely six, seven years is much, much longer than I've been doing these. I just started about a year ago, but um, Jeff, I still hope you will continue to go to these locations and bring back evidence. You know how to spot, you know, these types of things. Uh, I can't usually go out to the site of the fire. Um, maybe sometime I can, but for the most part, I'm not able to. So by you going there and collecting video and images, it allows me to make better um, comparisons and um, better analyses as far as you know connecting these fires together. Now Jeff has a different um, theory on on the fires. Um, there are a lot of things we agree on, and the part that I've not quite understood, and I don't know if I'll ever fully understand it, is the relationship with these fires and the electromagnetic forces that are changing on Earth. And that's very brief. I don't know how that happens, what it is, but that is a topic that he brings in to explain the plasma fires. There's a couple things that we don't agree on. The blue uh, thing surviving, he thinks that's a, a blue blue heron or a he thinks that's just like a one-off, like distraction type of thing. But I think there's something to the blue things surviving. And um, something that I'm starting to look into is the, the energy and the, I guess, waves that come from the ground. He has a lot of uh, videos kind of illustrating that. And we saw, we've seen that in videos that I've um, reported on, like the a smokehouse fire in Texas, but um, I'm going to have to take some time to understand it. But this this topic of these unusual fires, they don't have a simple um, source. I do think it's a long and a more complicated explanation than we'd like to think. But anyways, again, thank you, Jeff, for the shout out. Please go to his channel, check out his work. And uh, I hope, Jeff, you will continue to, to do your work because it's really appreciated. So with that, I will say bye.